In other news this evening, residents in the town of Bay Roberts spotted a shark yesterday swimming close to shore. We showed you some of those pictures on our newscast last night. The residents called DFO and the RCMP to report it, but when the town woke up this morning, they found a terrible sight. NTV's Ed Swain has the story and a warning. This report contains some graphic images. Less than 24 hours ago, this dead shark was frolicking in the waters around the harbor in Bay Roberts and putting on quite a show for curious onlookers and picture takers. But today, near the Kosh in Bay Roberts, the shark has its stomach ripped open, one side removed, and its jawbone cut out. Jim Richards of Shearstown, who was in the area last night taking pictures, said it's a shame what happened to the creature. Like, like I said last night at 7 o'clock, he was on the beach here so far. At 12 o'clock last night, he was ready to go over in Best Coyne. The quad, the one I come back, quad, the one last night, he was up on the beach. But the side, cut out of him, the gut and everything cut out of him. But I don't know, he's roughly about 8 to 6 feet long. What do you but, think done it? What done it? Yeah. Well, you know, if I done it, I suppose a couple of fellas done it. What did the freezer for a steak? Yeah, you know, I was talking to the RCMP day this morning. Nobody ever told of it. I talked to the DFO day last night. And all the miners, they didn't buy throw rocks at it, to the first charges on it. But where's he at all last night when all this was going on? Apparently no one seems to know what actually did happen to the shark and why it beached itself near the Kosh, an open body of water at the end of the harbor. Residents feel that fisheries and oceans should have done something last night that might have saved the animal. Dion Butler, another resident of the area, was very upset over what was done to the shark, which was estimated to be about seven feet long and weighing 700 pounds. That's not good. Yesterday we were here, we were talking to the officers, and I told her the shark was sick. You can see it was sick, right? And we should have had a pull at the water. They should have got biologists in to get it out of it. And no one come to get it out. They just watched it swim around, and everyone said the shark was going to die. And sure enough, today he's gone. Trinity Conception District RCMP said they are not investigating the matter, but notified Fisheries and Oceans. The RCMP said they were advised by DFO that the matter is now the responsibility of the town of Bay Roberts. Karen Richards, who lives in the area, said there should have been a better solution to the problem other than what resulted. Huh. I think it's a scene. It is really a scene. I think last night, if, if DFO and the wardens that were here last night had done something, and tried to get that shark out, the shark probably would still be alive. If it was sick, well, they could have dragged it out further, instead of maybe having it suffer and have the side cut off it like that. I don't blame the people as such that's around here, because, I mean, they had children here watching this, and they, you know, everybody was excited to see a shark. I honestly do blame the RCMP and the wardens that were here. They came here, they looked, they stood up with their arms folded, and left. Off-camera enforcement officer for the town of Bay Roberts, Barry Bowring, said fisheries and oceans have agreed in assisting with the disposal of the dead carcass. In Bay Roberts, I'm Ed Swain for NTV News.